The 2020 Stanley Cup Finals are officially set. The Dallas Stars against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Last night, Anthony Sorelli scored the overtime winner to send Tampa to the Finals and eliminate the New York Islanders. And honestly, it feels kind of bittersweet. While I am really excited to see which team hoists the Stanley Cup, and I'm sure there's going to be some great games between Dallas and Tampa Bay, but the playoffs are almost over. These playoffs have flew by. It seems like just the other day we were waking up at 9 in the morning and and watching games throughout the entirety of the day during the play-in round, and soon it's going to be back to watching no games at all for a couple months. Which definitely does suck, but there will still be some exciting things happening with the draft and free agency, and just everything to do with the offseason in general. There still will be a lot to talk about on the channel. Anyways, I feel like I'm getting a little bit too ahead of myself. We obviously still have this one series left, and it's for all the marbles. It's for the Stanley Cup. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my preview and prediction for the series between the Dallas Stars and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Be sure to leave a like on the video and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and check out my gaming channel if that is something that interests you. Links to all that will be down below in the description. And as always, if you guys are new to this channel and you want to see more NHL content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And now let's begin. One thing that added a little bit of intrigue to the Stanley Cup Finals is the fact that when the Dallas Stars eliminated Vegas and advanced to the Finals, they did not touch the Clarence as Campbell trophy which is of course awarded to the western conference champions and last night after tampa bay eliminated the islanders and they were crowned eastern conference champions they did in fact touch the prince of wales trophy so both teams did something different obviously not touching the trophy is a superstition that's been around for a long time you know apparently it's bad luck to touch the trophy the pittsburgh penguins would say otherwise but i thought it was something worth mentioning i guess we can just start off by talking about these teams a little bit and their playoff runs so far Bye. The Dallas Stars have been obviously an incredible story. I remember the start of the 2019-20 regular season, they were pretty bad, honestly, and it took them a while to get going. They also really struggled at the end of the season before the stoppage in play, but man, they've just been able to get it done in the playoffs. And it's not like they've been extremely dominant throughout the playoffs either. I mean, they have a negative goal differential. They have just been good enough, and now they've given themselves a chance. Everything that has happened in the playoffs up until this point really doesn't matter they just have to beat Tampa Bay in a best of seven. The Lightning themselves have also been quite the redemption story. We all know what happened to them in the playoffs last year, getting swept by the Columbus Blue Jackets after having a historical regular season. And I feel like the Tampa Bay Lightning team that we have seen so far in the 2020 playoffs is the team we thought we would see last year. And the kicker is they've been doing all of this without their captain and without one of their best players in Steven Stamkos. That is one thing I wanted to touch on as well in this video, and that is of course Steven Stamkos. It's still up in the air if he will be available for Tampa Bay at any point throughout this series. And honestly, maybe it's best if he just stays out of the lineup. Obviously, he's an incredible player. He's their captain. He's a very important part of the team, but they have been playing so well without him. Just imagine if Steven Stamkos does come back into the lineup and then say Tampa Bay craps the bed and loses the series. Say they lose every game that Stamkos played. Can you imagine the blame that would be placed on Steven Stamkos? Coast, I feel like it would be crazy. I'm sure there is a good amount of Tampa Bay Lightning fans watching this video, and I'm very curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this, so make sure to let me know down in the comment section. Let's say if Steven Stamkos was 85% healthy and said he could play. Would you want to see Steven Stamkos back in the lineup? I know that seems like a crazy question to ask given the caliber of a player that he is, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe it would be best if they rode with the lineup that got them to where they are right now. Okay, now let's shift our focus to comparing some stats of these two teams so far throughout the playoffs. Starting off with the Dallas Stars, a 27.3 power play percentage and an 83.3 penalty kill percentage. They shoot about 30.7 shots per game and allow 33.1 shots against. Like I said earlier in the video, they have a negative goal differential, 62 goals for and 64 against. And through 21 games, they have a 13 and 8 record. Now taking a look at the Tampa Bay Lightning. Lightning, they have a 17.9 power play percentage and an 83.6 penalty kill percentage, so Dallas definitely has the advantage in terms of special team numbers. The Lightning shoot about 35 and a half times per game and allow just 30.7 shots against. They have 59 goals for and 42 against, so a plus 17 goal differential is pretty impressive. And so far in the playoffs, they have played a total of 19 games and have a 14 and 5 record. Now taking a look at the player stats, the Dallas Stars are led by Miro 
Jarrow Haskinen with 22 points in 21 games. It's been that way throughout the entirety of the playoffs. He's been their biggest point producer. Jamie Ben with 18 points in 21 games. He's definitely gotten better as the playoffs have rolled along. Dennis Guriana, 17 points in 21 games. Klingberg with 16 in 20 games. And Joe Pavelski with 14 in 21 games. One thing worth mentioning when it comes to point producers for the Dallas Stars is the struggles of Tyler Sagan so far throughout the playoffs. On a lot of nights, he's kind of been a non-factor and has just two goals in 20 games. His finishing just hasn't been there and he hasn't really looked like himself. But hey, I mean, again, it just kind of speaks to the playoff run that Dallas is having. Tyler Sagan, one of their best forwards, not producing a ton in the playoffs, yet they are still here. They are still in the Stanley Cup Finals and if he could get going and start scoring some goals, that would definitely be a big bonus for them. Now taking a look at the offensive leaders for the Tampa Bay Lightning, they are led by Nikita Kucherov. Not really a big surprise there. He's got 26 points in 19 games. Braden Point, who has been extremely dominant so far throughout the playoffs with 25 points in 17 games. Victor Hedman, who's actually tied for the team leading goals with 9. He's been a beast in the playoffs. He's got 15 points. Palat has 13 points and Yanni Gord has 12. So that does it for comparing the team stats and looking at the leaders for each team. And realistically, does any of that matter heading into this series? Probably not. I still wanted to throw it in here because again, it is a preview and predictions video, but the NHL is so unpredictable. A team can go 0 for 15 on a power play in a seven game series and then the next series be red hot. You really just never know. That is enough rambling though. Let's now get into the exciting part of the video, what I'm sure everybody wants to hear. And that is my prediction. Which team do I think is going to win the 2020 Stanley Cup? Well, first off, I want to apologize in advance to the fan base of whatever team I choose because that team will most likely not win. My predictions have been so bad lately, I can almost guarantee you I'm going to get this wrong. But before I make my prediction, let's look at your guys' prediction. Late last night, I posted on my community tab a poll, Dallas Stars or Tampa Bay Lightning, who do you guys got in the Stanley Cup Finals? As of right now, there are 2.9k votes, so thank you to everybody that voted, and it's 58% in favor of the the Tampa Bay Lightning and just 42% in favor of the Dallas Stars. So you guys have Tampa as the favorite setting into this series. And I agree with you guys. The Tampa Bay Lightning are my pick as well to win the 2020 Stanley Cup. I'm going to say it takes them seven games to bounce the Dallas Stars though. Whatever team wins this series, it's not going to be easy. My only hope is that it's not a short series. I would really like to see this go six or seven games and I think it probably will. I also want to make my predictions on who I think will win the con Smythe as playoffs MVP. If the Dallas Stars win this series, I definitely think it has to go to either Miro Haislinen or Anton Hudobin, who have obviously both been incredible for them. If I had to just pick one, I'll probably go with Hudobin. His numbers in the playoffs have been ridiculous, and he's a big reason why Dallas is where they are. However, I definitely would not be surprised if it went to a guy like Miro Haislinen if Dallas does win the series. For the Tampa Bay Lightning, I'm definitely going to pick Braden Point, who has just continued to impress me throughout the playoffs. One one thing I've really noticed, he's not a big guy, but man is he ever strong and hard to knock off the puck. His puck protection is insane. Don't get me wrong, Kucherov, Stamkos, Hedman, Vasilevsky, all amazing players, but Braden Point very well may be the best overall player on this Tampa Bay team. I think a lot of people would probably agree with me on that. But yeah, guys, I just want to see an entertaining series. I'm not really rooting for one team over the other. There's ties to where I'm from, Halifax, Nova Scotia, on both teams teams. Dallas Stars head coach Rick Bonus is from here and Alex Kalorn on the Tampa Bay Lightning is from here as well. So I'd like to see either of those guys bring the cup back here. That is going to do it for this video though. Thank you to everyone who went on the poll and voted for which team you think is going to win. If you missed out on voting though, be sure to let me know who you think will win this series down below in the comment section. As always, if you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave it a like. That is the best way to show your support. And if you guys are new to the channel and you want to see more NHL content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys on the next video.